There's no polite way to say this. Bungie is effectively dead as of right now. Over the past 48 hours or so as of this recording, we've seen report after report and people on Twitter that used to work at Bungie talking about how there's been extensive layoffs internally within the company. We now know that there's been over a hundred layoffs and recently we learned that Bungie executives said that revenue was down 45% below projections for this year. Now there's a lot of things we can point to this, whether it's the extremely low quality annual expansion that was Lightfall, seriously that thing was garbage. The fact that they keep raising in-game currency prices with a continued player drop-off throughout the year, mostly due to the state of the game. The fact that many of these developers have been pulled off the game to work on Marathon, which has now also been delayed as well as the upcoming annual DLC, The Final Shape. Now the thing with delaying The Final Shape that is so wild is that this one is supposed to be the conclusion to this whole saga that they've been telling for the past 10 years or so and now it's been delayed and then going forward from there is where it gets really crazy with the no more seasonal updates instead going into this thing called episodes where that stands as of now no one knows the state of marathon man it's not going to hit its projected release date there's no way in hell that's happening best case scenario that game comes out in 2025 and that's assuming that bungie is still around then now look i'm not going to sit here and tell you that destiny 2 is just going to go offline any minute now that's just not gonna happen whether you like the game or not i'm someone that plays it somewhat casually even though i haven't really touched it in the past i don't know month or so every now and then i stream it the game's been on a decline there's that's just an undeniable fact. We have numbers to back that up. Ultimately though, the game still generates money. Not enough for these people to keep their jobs. Now, as someone who is an old school Halo fan, I will admit it does kind of hurt to see Bungie in this position. Granted, this is very far from the Bungie that I grew up loving. The people that made Halo what it is, they're not at Bungie. They haven't been at Bungie for a long time. We know that most of them have gone to certain affinity, the ones that are still working on the games industry. But if you want to know just how bad the state of Bungie is in this day and age, Bungie has fired Michael Salvatore. Michael Salvatore is Bungie royalty. Him and Marty together created the incredible soundtrack of Halo 1, 2, 3, ODST, and Reach. Yes, the Halo trilogy, those incredible, memorable music. Without Michael Salvatore, we would not have them. He worked on Destiny's music as well. And I do think Destiny has some pretty good music. Some of its soundtracks are really nice. And without Michael, that wouldn't be a thing. Michael even worked at Bungie pre-Halo days with old school marathon. He walks around there with a crown and they've had to let him go. Of course, none of the big time executives and CEOs, the people that are still going to be getting all their bonuses and all that good stuff, none of them are losing their jobs. Absolutely not. The people on the ground level who coming close into the Christmas season have now lost their jobs. And this year, 2023, has shown incredible sale numbers for the gaming industry. There has been some pretty good games put out this year, and yet we're in this day and age where there is no such thing as job security in the gaming industry, unless you're one of the people at the top. I mean, for fuck's sakes, Bobby Kotick couldn't even get fired. So anyone else, if, if they can't fire him, there's no way any executive or CEO is ever going to lose their job. The people that help make the games, the people that help these executives and CEOs get those crazy Christmas bonuses, they're the ones that get fired and have to struggle to get ends meet leading into the Christmas season. It was only last year that Bungie employees were told that their jobs were safe despite being purchased from PlayStation. Because you know, whenever there's a massive corporate merger or buyout or something like that, People get sent off into all these different divisions and things get restructured. They were told that would not be the case. So that was a fucking lie. And now there are reports coming out that a lot of these layoffs are due to PlayStation Sony doing a larger revamp. Now, we're not too long ago, we saw that Sony was committed to this games as a service model and that was their direction going forward. Of course, who could possibly have predicted that that would not work out in their favor in the long run? It's such a saturated market. Instead of focusing on supporting their already established ones such as Destiny 2, for example, they wanted every game to be like Destiny 2 and that's resulted in a saturated market and is killing player retention because 
Who wants every single game to be a live service game? You get over that really quickly. Just to rewind like a week or so ago, the release of PlayStation Spider-Man 2 was like one of their fastest selling games. So it goes to show you that not everything has to be a game as a service in order to succeed and generate revenue. But the way executives look at it is, is this game making money for me today? Whereas something like, again, Spider-Man is just a one-time purchase and you have the game. Of course, they're going to sell DLCs and whatnot, but it's not a live service game, so it's not there to make money. Which is effectively how all these CEOs and executives look at gaming as a whole. They don't care about the gaming experience. They don't care about anything like that. They just want to know how much money is it making for them today, tomorrow, and the day after. If the answer is zero, they do not like it. Now, while I do understand everyone has to make money in order to keep these things going, like I said, we're getting to this saturated market where every game wants to be a live service. Of course, this was going to backfire on Sony. Everyone told them this was going to backfire. And now here we are with them being forced to lay off over 100 people with Insider Bungie. Now, this is from all divisions inside of Bungie. Now, I'm someone that kind of looks at community manager role and goes, so you're paid to tweet, basically. But still, I do have a soft spot when people lose their jobs because I do know what it's like to be made redundant and lose your job due to no fault of your own. And when it happened to me, it was like the worst possible timing. So I admit, I have a bit of a soft spot for that type of stuff. But like I said, when we take a step back and look at this bigger picture, Bungie has made a lot of stupid decisions, okay? Now, I'm not just talking about the cringe stuff like the whole Latinx stuff and all that type of virtue signal crap. I mean in-game decisions such as increasing the price of in-game cosmetics and in-game currency which they were told by players and developers that this will probably result in fewer sales leading to less money overall. They looked at it as a short-term gain but it ended up being a long-term L for them really. And now here they are losing over a hundred employees. I mean come on man when you're firing people like Michael Salvatore who is Bungie royalty, you know that they are down bad over there. I do believe over the next few days, we'll probably get more information about all this and how this is all going to play out in the long run. But as of right now, there is no nice way to say it. It does unfortunately look like Bungie is dead.